Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Now, this channel certainly has a soft spot for character customization menus. I already have a dozen tutorials on the topic, with 2D and 3D character customization menu series. And so today, I'm going to expand on this already bloated collection of character customization related tutorials with Unity by showing you how to make a cool drag and drop customization menu. Basically, I can left click over a sprite and then holding down that left mouse button, I'll have my sprite follow the mouse cursor around the scene. When I'm happy with where my asset is placed, I can let go of the button and the eye, mouth or other customizable elements will no longer follow the cursor. Okay, now that you've seen what we'll be creating, let's begin. So I have a Unity project opened up and inside the scene I've placed a bunch of sprites. This grey little dummy will act as the character we wish to customise while the other assets that serve as bits and bobs we can have fun placing on our character. Now all assets were made using Adobe Photoshop. I then exported the file as a PNG with of course a transparent background. In Unity I then changed the sprite mode from single to multiple, hit apply and inside my sprite editor I sliced the various sprites so they would be separate from one another. To slice a sprite, simply left click and drag with your mouse. With all of that set up, I'm going to select all the sprites, except the actual dummy character, and I'll add a 2D box collider to each sprite. That'll also set to trigger. We need to add this component to detect when the mouse is hovering over the sprite. Alright, awesome! It's now time to write some code. I'll create a new c -sharp script, call it drag and drop, and open it up inside of mono develop. I'll start by making a private bool variable called selected. We will use this to indicate to our object whether or not it must follow the mouse cursor. I'll now make a new function called onMouseOver. Now note that this is a built-in Unity function, so make sure you spell it exactly as I have. Basically, this function will detect when the cursor is hovering over the object carrying this script, which is why we added 2D box colliders to our various sprites, so the cursor would detect when it's hovering over them. And so if the player does indeed have his cursor hovering over the sprites, we will check if he also hits the left mouse button. If he also does that, then we will set our bool variable to true. Alright, in our update function, we will now make an if statement checking whether selected is equal to true. And if it is, then we will get our sprite object to follow the cursor around the scene. Now, for those of you having checked my portal tutorial, you'll know that doing so is very easy. Simply create a vector2 variable called cursor pose and set it equal to camera.main.screen to world point. And inside the parentheses, state input.mouse position. Now this vector2 cursor pose variable has x and y coordinates that are equal to the mouse cursor's coordinates. But this still won't get our object following the mouse. We now must set its transform.position equal to a new vector2 and in the parentheses set the object position's x coordinate to cursor pose.x and its y coordinate to cursor pose.y. Now when selected is equal to true, the object carrying this script will follow the mouse cursor around the scene. However, if the player lets go of the left mouse button, so if input.getMouseButton up and in the parentheses type in 0 for left, then we will set selected to false. As a result, this if statement will no longer return true 
and the crucial code that gets our object following the cursor will no longer run, resulting in the mouse cursor's position no longer having any effect on the object in question. Alright, before pressing play, select all sprites except the character and drag and drop the, well, drag and drop script onto them. Let's now test our character customization menu. So I left click with my cursor hovering over a pair of large red eyes and I happily note that the eyes now follow my cursor around the scene. I can also let go of the left mouse button and my eyes will no longer follow the cursor. Awesome! Well that marks the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and will have fun putting these newly learned concepts to good use by making your own drag and drop customization menu. Alright, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support me and my small yet growing game creation channel. Truly, each new subscriber is so encouraging. With that said, thanks so much for watching, have a great day, cheers!